Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, back and read record. Sorry guys, you have to look at this beautiful black mural, but um, I feel a little lightheaded, but I have to be obedient to God. He says original. Please be original in your faith. Please be original in who you are. Please be original in your future. And please um, be um, the original what you want to do. Like platform. Be yourself. Don't have to be someone who you're not going to be. Um, I found this um, note card. It's cleaning up a little bit. It says Proverbs 17, 22. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit drains up the bone. Uh, my brother says, you guys, please... La enjoy laughter this season because enjoy the sound of it because um i had a dream i'm gonna be really really quick because i feel a little lightheaded but i'm doing a lot better i'm just wearing a sweater which is probably not a good place to be wearing it so um i'm probably over exerting because i'm doing um i'm on my crutches a lot so i'm doing a lot better just a little hot <laughs> so i'm over exerting myself just uh, overwhelmed with the hotness of a sweater and it's like 60 degrees outside so i gotta change the shirt so um yeah so um my, i had a dream last night my mother and my oldest niece went to the movies they invited me and i said i can't it's all because your foot and then um the lord it was like it was midday, like around 5 or 3. It was like the sun was halfway down and it was getting ready to go to sundown. So I'm walking down the street, but it felt safe to walk up and down the street for some reason in my dream. So um, for some reason, I got to a middle, like like six blocks down. And I was like, this convenience store, I didn't have enough money. And then I kept going back in and coming back in. And the person was like, oh, you keep coming in. I really wanted this one thing, but I just didn't have enough money. But I knew I had money, but I didn't want to buy anything. You know what I'm saying? But it was just, like, really weird. But I was kept in, I was, I don't know, something significant about this corner store I had to go to. But then the Lord reminded me about this program I used to go to, like, would you, like this, this, like, the research center that you you sew on and you um you get paid for doing the research the last one i did i got 125 dollars last time i did something was shampoo i got 25 dollars and i said okay let me just look at my email and see if i could do that as another source of income so my mother and my niece were spending more time together it's been a couple years since they um they hung out because my niece is she was a little bit more calmer because she was dealing with a lot of behavior issues so my mother didn't like taking her out but she was like yeah we're gonna we're, they're planning on to the movies you know sneaking um sneaking in snacks they were just had a plan we'll see you later but they kept on coming back but it was at the point that they it was quick like we had like instead of taking the bus you just gotta go and just you know transport your time but this was more like they had a car everybody was going and like they didn't need me to plan it out so i don't know the significance of that dream that i just woke up and checked the, the website of that uh, research center i don't know the significance of that that um convenience store but one thing about that convenience store versus every other corner store it's just, it's at a corner where it's a it's like it's at the, the crosswalk where people are coming through. It's like different from the package store where I live and then another corner store called Superstar, for example. It's like on my block, it's like they're competing. But this one is like the only corner store. So I guess this being original about um, this store. So it's like it's cleaner. It's not convenience about the other ones. I'm not saying it's you know, living in the city, so you know how it is when you have a, a, a corner store, you go over here, you go over there just to get things you need, and it's high price. This one is just, you know, people in the neighborhood, you know, that Sammy's Deli type of thing, you all, you, they know you by name, and, and it's like that, it's like a, like Italian restaurant type of thing, but it's original, so it's like, if you have a business, be original, know your customers, be original, platform your business, be original, so I'm just sewing on what what it needs to be original so i'm going to be myself i'm going to get my book up up and going when i get the time i'm going to platform my philosophy for my daycare soon um so i'm just going to get myself better and god is in control you guys just laugh enjoy and smile and trust the lord and have faith and um so i have another thing the lord's told me to speak on is save me the lord has so into my online business and I'm um, also me being original for that picking up different unique pieces from goodwill that most people would turn away but I realized when I'm being original things sell quicker versus like the regular 
name brand stuff. So people, I'm just realizing my online store, people more gravitating towards unique styles like this versus like something plain as a, you know, as a pink shirt. You know what I'm saying? Like I do well. It's like I just sold a, a DC costume for $10. I know that's 20 but it has some flaws and I could have raising the price for like twenty dollars blah 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 but people like coming to my store because it's affordable prices they don't want to um to pay those six dollar fees and i got about eh, six seven bucks back so it's hey it was free someone loaned it to me i couldn't fit it and i was like here here you go so whatever they do with that costume you know it could be for a costume party i don't believe in halloween but if it's for a social event for a birthday party this person who brought it was like as it was a dc fan loves comics love batman so it's a catwoman costume hey go for it so she was being original i said you know what i'm gonna I'm, i like her style and i was like you know you are a super person so be yourself so that's what the problem that's not the problem the problem is some people want to fake it but just or, or too stubborn or too shy or just want to mold in so just be original my brothers and sisters in christ i'm doing so much better enjoy today's word please sew into um um, Pro, um proverbs 17 22 so i love you guys have a nice day and i see you bye bye